So this is gonna be one of those videos where I have more questions than answers. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. So recently, I received a message from my buddy, Whitewell Comics. And you guys have heard me talk about Whitewell in the past. Alec is an awesome guy that I talk to from time to time. We've even done a couple of video uh, collaborations together. But he sent me a message on Instagram. And his question was something along the lines of, which comic has the most first appearances? And without missing a beat, without missing a single note, my answer was Transformers number one. That was my first response. And his response was, ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> and so we then spent, I don't know, the next like 20 or 30 minutes having a conversation about comics that might have the most first appearances. And the honest answer is that I don't think either one of us actually really knows. And so that is my challenge to you. Give it some thought and in the comment section, drop in there what you think might be the comic with the most first appearances in it. And so what I want to do right now is actually show you a couple of comics that popped into my mind that had an, an Alex's mind uh, that had a number of first appearances because these might be the ones that readily come to your mind as well. And so I want to show you the books. I want to tell you the number of first appearances. I'm not going to tell you who all is in these books. I'm going to be honest with you because in some cases there are a lot. Uh, but I do want to show you the books because as you're sitting here thinking about is it this book or is it that book, you might be able to cross some of these books off your list because we have already thought of them. Our general feeling, to be honest with you, is that it's probably some obscure book that no one else has ever heard of before. But, you know, that's the fun of this hobby. And so hopefully everyone understands that we are just trying to have a good time. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the first book. So as I continued to noodle this riddle that Alec had punted over to me, there was a comic that kind of popped into my mind where I knew there was a large cast of characters and it was Hard Corpse. This is a comic from Valiant that I read back in the day. I read it maybe four or five months ago and I remember there being a lot of characters. And so I assumed that maybe that was a, a book with a lot of first appearances. And as I started to do my research on fandom, for example, what I realized is that there were a lot of characters Characters, but not a lot of them had their first appearance in Hard Corpse number one. They actually had their first appearance in this book right here, Harbinger number one. And uh, again, this is a really awesome comic from, from Valiant. And this one actually only had, though, 13 first appearances. And again, a, a massive cast of characters in this particular book, uh, like the Egg Breakers, right? Uh, but this is this only has 13 first appearances. So maybe this was a book that was on your list. You might want to cross it off because this is actually on the lower end of those with first appearances. So the next book that popped into my mind was a Rob Liefeld uh, favorite, right? And and this is one that popped into my mind because again, I remember there just being character after character after character, almost to the point where I could not remember people's names because I was just getting, it was like name soup at one point. It, at least that was how I remembered it. Uh, but this was a comic that popped into my head and it was Young Bloods and, or Young Blood, I should say, number one. I actually remember picking this comic up off of the rack back in the day, uh, back when I was in high school, the next generation of superheroes, right? The first exciting issue. I remember this comic like nobody's business. And so I, again, did my research and come to find out there's only 14 first appearances in this one. And it may be, again, uh, my memory is a little faulty, but I remember there being a whole lot more than that. But there you go, 14. And maybe this was on your list as well. 
but you might as well cross it off because it's still on the low end of the spectrum. <laughs> you, you gotta love these image guys in the early days, man. They knew how to make a casting character swell up. <laughs> and so this next uh, entrant is from one of my personal favorites. It is Mr. Jim Lee. And you might already be able to figure out which comic I'm about to show you from, from the clues, right? Image and also Jim Lee. You might already know that we are talking about Wildcats. And I actually went back and reread this book a couple of months ago. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I enjoyed it. I I have always enjoyed Jim Lee and I definitely enjoyed this Wildcats. And um, if this book is on your list, you are definitely headed in the right direction. Why? Because if my research is correct, there are 26, 26 first appearances in this comic right here. And I honestly remember a healthy number of these names. <laughs> I remember a healthy number of them because I read the book not that long ago. I think I read like issues like one through 10 or 12 or something like that. So the names kind of stuck, uh, but definitely a really, really cool comic. If you've never read this from the 90s, go back, read it digitally uh, or trade paperback, however you choose to do it, or find it in a dollar bin, because I don't think this is an expensive book at all, but it is It is actually some 90s goodness in my mind. 26 first appearances. So this next book is a little bit of nostalgia, at least for me. Uh, growing up, my brother and I, even though we were six years apart, there was uh, one toy in particular that we both really enjoyed playing with and enjoyed watching on TV as well. It is none other than G.I. Joe. This right here is some magic. This is G.I. Joe, number one, a real American hero and a blockbuster first issue primarily because there are 33 three first appearances in this comic 33 every every joe that you remember from the tv show is right here in this comic i think except for snake eyes i don't think he's in this one but i could be wrong about that but this is definitely a cool book and if this one was on your list you are again headed in the right direction but it is not the number one comic so based upon the intro, you may have already figured out what the number one comic was. And I'm not going to say that I was right because one of you is going to pop up with a comic that is going to have like one more first appearance than this one. <laughs> but for a guess on my part, I, I feel very good about it and I will not uh, be upset if someone actually finds a comic that has more first appearances then Transformers number one with 34 first appearances. There are a couple more if you look at fandom, but some of those first appearances are like the planet Earth or Venus or something like that. So I didn't really count those, but there are, I, I believe, again, based upon my research, 34 first appearances in this particular comic. And, and you might be wondering, how is it that I knew that? How is it that I guessed that? Well, if you remember back a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about uh, one of those, um, those TV shows that is on Netflix. I think it was like the toys that made us or something like that. And I watched one episode of that that was really focused on the Transformers. And what I learned in that, that docu-series was that uh, there was the toy line for Transformers, but they didn't really have any kind of background or backstory for the Autobots and the Decepticons. And so the people that had the toys actually went to the House of Ideas. They went to Marvel and Jim Shooter specifically and basically said, we need a backstory so that we can launch this toy line. And so what Marvel ended up doing was basically giving them a backstory and an issue where they basically crammed into that comic every single toy that was going to be rolling out at Christmas time. 
and I think they, you know, ultimately made a TV show from it and all that kind of stuff. But this was, I believe it was originally supposed to be a four part mini series that they actually extended out to, I want to say 80 issues or something like that. But again, issue number one has 34 first appearances of people like Megatron and my man Optimus Prime. I am actually in the process of reading this comic right now. I had never read it, even though it's been in my collection for several months now. So I'm actually reading it right now and uh, reminiscing a little bit around the TV show that I used to watch as a kid. So again, the, the challenge has been extended. Is there a comic out there with more than 34 first appearances? If so, I want to hear from you and it'll probably be something obscure. I have a feeling that it's going to be something I've never read before. But again, that's the fun of it. With that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I definitely want to encourage you to give the video a... You know what? Hold on one sec. I want to give you guys an opportunity to actually pick up a really cool book for yourself. This is the book. This is the book that I want to offer up to you. This is Eternals number three. This is uh, a 9.6 with white pages. This is the first appearance of Circe. And I think Angelina Jolie is actually playing Circe in the upcoming Eternals movie, which I personally am really excited about. And so this is the book that we are going to give away this part uh, this week as part of the Go Collect giveaway. And what we ask, if you want to enter this contest, is that you basically be a subscriber of the channel, you be a resident of the United States, you be a resident of Canada, or you have a mailing address in the United States. That's basically all that we ask. In just a moment, I'm going to give you a phrase. You'll need this phrase so that when you head over to the community tab and you find the post where I'm talking about this book, you click on that link in the post and you go to MailChimp. Once you're on MailChimp, you plug in three pieces of information. Two of them are relevant to you, and one of them is the phrase that I'm about to give you in just a moment. You plug that in, then you tune in to the Ready, Set, Go preview show, which airs Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time to find out if you are the winner. That's basically it. That's all that you have to do. So, the phrase that you need is Plan B. Plan B. And you might be asking yourself, why Plan B? So Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt formed a movie production house back in the day, I think when they were still married, called Plan B. That's why we're going to call it Plan B, because of Angelina Jolie playing Circe, who has her first appearance in Eternals number three. Good luck to you guys. And as I mentioned, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell a friend about it. Ask them to come over, check out the channel, and uh, leave a comment behind so that we can mix it up in the comment section. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so at ReggieCollects on Instagram or ReggieCollects at gmail.com. Take care.